Listen. That bustling, buzzing sound you hear is the sound of prayer and study in this room. I was here yesterday. This room saw so much death and horror. You got the sense that it had been desecrated. But with this sound, they are reclaiming this room from death to spiritual life. And we've talked to some of the people who are praying here, and they say they bring a special intensity after what happened here yesterday. They are rededicated to claiming this room for their spiritual life, to claiming this country once again in the face of an attack as their own. So you are over in this corner here, and you're praying at that point? Yeah. And what's the first thing you heard? Shots. The first thing you heard was shots. I heard the shots, and I hit the floor as they were shooting as they came in. And I, then I saw the two terrorists. What were they doing? They were, one was, they both were swinging their knives, trying to injure people. Most people had been on the floor, trying to protect themselves. Then I saw them coming towards me, and I was, I guess I was standing already at the time, pushed the tables, saw the other fellow loading his gun, ran out the door. When you saw the two attackers come in, yeah. you recognized one of them? When he came towards me with a knife, yeah. The man who came towards you with the knife? Well, the guy who worked in the neighborhood here. You knew him? Yeah. I mean, I knew him well. I recognize his face. He, I seen him a bunch of times. He was the older man with the beard, and uh, I just saw him. And he was coming out with a knife, and I don't know the expression on his face. Difficult to know, but I, I pushed the tables, moved, just ran out. He would have killed you. Oh yeah. Why did you come back here today? Because I, I felt that this is, they're not going <laughs> to stop me from doing what I need to do: to live in Israel, to pray in Israel, to lead a normal life. They're not going to stop me.